Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me here today in my home office. Uh, my name is Justin Booth. I'm a former debt settlement officer, debt collector. I um, also run a, a wheatgrass company called iSellGrass.com and I'm very big as a, into the conscious community working as a philanthropist. Today, I'm here to share a personal experience with you that has really uh, exponentially grown my, my financial well-being. And uh, you know, as part of what I do, I wanna share information. And so today, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit of information on uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and the blockchain. I'm gonna leave you some information in the description of below so you can have some of the sources that I looked towards to educate myself on the who, what, where, why, when, and how this is affecting the financial world. Today, we're gonna to get started with using the two platforms that I use the most. So I'm gonna take you through the sign up, the verification, uh, the funding, and then the way to buy, sell, and trade. That's on CoinSquare. That's the platform that I buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies on. And then I'm gonna share with you USI Tech, which is a hedge fund for Bitcoin. I'll get into that a little bit later, but all you can do into USI Tech is take Bitcoin. It's the only cryptocurrency you can take and you invest it into USI Tech. Here's what you're gonna to need to get started. Number one, you're going to, for me, I like to use a desktop to be able to do this. You can do it on your mobile device, but uh, I would highly suggest maybe setting these up on, on the desktop because there's more information. Uh, the mobile uh, platforms don't have um, as easy to use uh, startup and signups. You're gonna need a cell phone because they're gonna to have to have a, a third party verification form. You're gonna need a piece of ID, so a driver's license or, um, or passport. You're also gonna need uh, a form of identification with uh, regards to a piece of mail that has been sent to you within the last two months. Uh, so that's what you're gonna need to be able to, to do the verification process. And then for uh, funding your, your accounts, there's many different ways. You can use a debit card uh, on, uh, on certain platforms. Uh, you can use e-transfer on CoinSquare. You can also use bank draft and money order. Uh, we'll get into those things as well because depending on what type of method of funding you're using depends on how much percentage they're going to charge you on that uh, because that's how the platforms make money is, is by uh, uh, funds being transferred in and funds being transferred out of the platform. And each platform, even besides the ones that we're going to discuss in these videos, have different rates on different um, on different uh, methods. So we're at CoinSquare.io. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the sign up part. So okay, we're going to create a username, and then uh, your email, and then you're going to put your password in. Now it asks for a referral code here. I actually don't have a referral code, so I'm just doing this to help people out. If you want to read their terms of agreement, please feel free to do so. Then you're going to have to click I'm not a robot. Wait for it to go around in a circle there. Okay, so we're going to go to register and then it's going to send you an email. You're going to verify, confirm the email address. Boom, and now you've got your account registered. Now we're going to go through the verification process. Okay. First off, it's going to start with your mobile phone. Yeah. So let's put Canada, US. We'll put your phone number in with no spaces. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, to be reading all the uh, information that's on the page. So now it's gonna send you a text to your phone. You're gonna enter the six digit or seven digit code that it sends to your text message. So now we're gonna fill out your all about you information. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to fund account. We're gonna use email money transfer just for now. Yep. So we're noticing that on e-transfer, it's charging you 5%. Wow. So if you're putting thousand dollars in they're gonna take a five five dollars or sorry 50 bucks out if you're doing 100 bucks or taking five bucks out so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open your bank uh, and set up a new e-transfer payee and what you're gonna see it and when you're gonna set it up you're gonna set it up the name is GNL payments mm -hmm. the email you send it to is payments at go numerical all this information will be personalized on your own screen so what's gonna happen is within one to five business days, yep. okay? You're gonna get an email saying, the funds have been deposited into your account. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your dashboard mm -hmm. and it will show you $180 minus your, your 5% here. It'll show Canadian dollars, okay? Uh, in, in your holdings right there. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to s trade and you're gonna, but you won't be able to do it now, but you'll click that. Mm -hmm. You'll click CDN, which is your Canadian dollars. Mm -hmm. And then you can either click the amount or how much of the percentage of that amount. And then you can click four 
and then the different coins that you might want to buy. Now, this will this is the quick, easy, adva uh, quick, easy, simple way to do it. Yeah. There's a more advanced way to do where you you're not paying so much on the, the transfer itself, but I mean, for simplicity and ease, and you're not really losing that much if you're playing the markets the way that the markets are moving right now, you'll be totally fine.